Hey what's up YouTube, this is AGR Tech here and I'm back with another tutorial to show you how to fix an error in VMware Workstation and VMware Player. So if you've just created a new virtual machine and configured it and done all that stuff and when you go to power it on, it comes up with this error right here um, and in this case I'm trying to get uh, Windows XP Professional working and you run into this problem and it says you have an incorrect version of driver vmci.sys and it tells you to try it reinstalling VMware Workstation and then when you hit OK it just closes and you can't power on your virtual machine so I'm going to show you how to fix that so if you've reinstalled VMware and it still doesn't work here's what you need to do so what you need to do is go to start my documents and once you open my documents there will be a folder called virtual machines so I've got that up right here and what you will need to do now is go to the particular folder for the operating system you're trying to install. In my case, it's Windows XP Professional, but if you're working on another virtual machine, just open that folder. Now, what is really annoying about this is you have to do this every single time to that particular virtual machine every time you make a new virtual machine. But don't worry, guys. Once you've done this, you will not have to do this over and over again for the same virtual machine. So once you're in this folder, you'll have a bunch of files. What you want to do is look for the VMX file, VMware Virtual Machine Configuration. What you want to do is find that one, and you'll tell because the icon is different from the rest. And you want to right-click on it, and click on Open With, choose Default Program, and now you'll have this screen right here. What you want to do is click on Other Programs, scroll down until you find Notepad and then double click on notepad and hit OK and then what you want to do is uh, I'll close out of that then you want to click down here and choose the default program again select VMware Workstation and now you'll have the uh, open with notepad option so now what you want to do is right click and go open with notepad by the way, this also works for any other text editor like Notepad++ or any other program you use. And once you get this screen, you'll have the entire configuration settings and all the values for the um, virtual machine. So now what you're going to want to do is scroll down until you find this line of code. This line that says VMCI 0.present equals true. What you want to do is click in the cursor uh, inside the speech marks where it says true and just delete true. Now turn on caps lock and type in false. So once you've got that done, it should look exactly like this. And once it's like that, you just want to hit X and you want to click on save changes. Now you can minimize that folder and go back into VMware and power on the virtual machine. So now I'm going to show you that this actually does work and so far uh, it's going well, I haven't got any errors yet and around now I would normally have the error as you can see it's starting up with the VMware screen and it's gone to the Windows setup now whatever setup for whatever operating system you're working on it will come up with that so um, as you can see it did work and that is how to fix the VMCI.SYS error in VMware Workstation and VMware Player um, be sure to subscribe to my channel for jailbreaks, uh, Android videos, Windows tutorials, uh, tech news, and general tech stuff. Um, and also, if this video helped you out, please click the like button. It really uh, helps me out, guys, and I appreciate it a lot. And if you have any questions or comments at all, just let, um, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to get back to you. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.